Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanta Renee, if you are new, and if you're a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to another video. In this video, um, I will be doing my part two of my back to school haul. If you missed it, I did post part one about a week or two ago. I will go ahead and have that linked up here or maybe up here so that if you wanted to find out what I end up getting my children for their back to school clothes, you can go ahead and watch that video as well. Um, in this particular video, it only will be included their school supplies as well as their school clothes. This particular year, I did not purchase book bags or lunch boxes because the book bags they have from last year, both um, they are in good shape. Both of the book bags are in good shape. Also, um, in about the middle of school year last year, Walmart had some book bags that was on sale for $5. It and I end up purchasing that as well. So they actually have two different book bags and lunch boxes in good shape. So I didn't feel like it was necessary to purchase new book bags this year. So they will be using that um, for this school year as well. Um, the stores that I went to is I went to Walmart to get all their school supplies and I went to some shoe stores. We also went to um, the mall as well. I went to shoe department. Um, and we also went to um, Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker. Um, but yeah, that's all that we end up doing. I will try to go ahead and include prices, most likely for all the school supplies. I may just go ahead and put that on the screen so that you can um, know how much I pay for everything. I should be able to tell you the prices of their shoes because it is on the box. Um, for that y'all, let's go ahead and get on to this back to school haul. All right guys, so we're actually gonna go ahead and start on this side. This is where I have all of their school supplies. So they both needed glue sticks. Um, I don't know, maybe my four year old ripped off the top. But um, yeah, they both needed glue sticks. So I got the Elmer's glue stick. These are the 12 packs. Both of them need um, crayons. This is a regular 24 pack crayons. Also got two packs of these pencils that's already pre-sharpened. It's a 48 pack for both of my children. Two things of highlighters. And my son, he actually needed color pencils. Um, I'm not quite sure how I end up getting three things of scissors, but I did. Um, but they needed scissors, so I got scissors for them. They had already opened it up, so that's why it's not in the packaging. They also needed some uh, erasers so my son got this one and my daughter she wanted this rainbow colored eraser and somehow i ended up getting another one i believe my youngest son might have put this in the basket and then i also end up getting some dry erase markers so i got two things of that as well They needed two, they needed headphones. So I got two things of headphones for them. And I know these were like $9.99, $10. My daughter, she needed a clipboard. So I got one clipboard for her. My son needed, I'm not quite sure why he needed two things of this three um, college ruled notebook, the three subject notebook. He needed two of those. So I got two, one in green and one in black. And I have some folders. Um, and I believe I have six folders all together. And I have this as well. Um, there's one subject notebook. He needed this as well. Um, three of those. And I have nine of these um, black and white composition books. And y'all can see us here as well. They both needed pencil pouches. My son picked this one out and then this one is for my daughter. So moving on to the shoes. Um, pretty much my daughter got all of all three of her shoes from shoe department. Yeah, she got all three of her shoes from the shoe department. She got two of the Steve Madden shoes. She saw these boots and she really wanted them. Um, 
as y'all know, my children, don't, they're about to start school actually um, next week. It's still going to be hot outside, but she saw these and she really, really want them. Um, so I ended up getting them for her anyways. Um, these Steve Madden boots, their price for that was actually $24.98 for these. Also ended up getting her another pair of Steve Madden shoes as well. And she actually wanted these pair of shoes because I actually have a pair of the burgundy ones and she knew that so she wanted some shoes just like I have so I ended up getting her a pair of these. The price of these was $69.99. And then I also ended up getting her a pair of pink and white Vans. The price of that was $39.99. And I think I have told y'all before about my youngest boy, my son Khalifa. He, um, anytime I go shopping for them, especially um, back to school shopping, I always have to end up picking up him a couple things. Like with the school supplies, I think I picked up him like a black and white composition book and some crayons. Um, so I ended up picking him up a pair of shoes. He saw these PJ Maxx shoes. These shoes, I believe, okay, they were $19.98, so I got him these, and of course, the reason why he liked them so much is because they light up, so I ended up getting him these pair of shoes, so he will not feel left out. Um, my son, he has been wanting Crocs. I don't know where y'all located, but I know Crocs is something that's popular where I'm located. All the boys, the girls, they love to wear them. Even the adults, female and male, love to wear Crocs. They're very comfortable. So this year he wanted a pair of Crocs. Ended up getting them for him. They was actually on sale for $20. So I got him a pair of those. And my son's PJ Maxx shoes, they actually came from um, the shoe department. And these came from the kids for locker. Um, this these pair of shoes as well came from the kids foot locker i had a hard time trying to find my son shoes he's very picky and where i'm located depend you know especially when you start to get older and the boys they are very particular what type of shoes they wear and things like that um but i end up having to pay um 99 for these pair of air nikes so he got a pair of these. Like I said, this came from the kids foot locker. And then we have one more pair of shoes. These particular shoes did come from the shoe department. These are actually some champions. It has a champion written across here with the champion logo right here. Or um, well, the champion right here and up here, if y'all can see that. Um, this came from the shoe department. And I believe this was these shoes was actually $75, so he ended up getting these as well. All right, guys, so that is it. That is it when it comes to the school supplies. Um, so I did wanted to go ahead and give y'all a total amount of how much I spent. So as far as all the school supplies that I ended up getting from Walmart, the total amounts end up coming to $129.67 for their school supplies. And for the two shoes that I ended up getting from the kids' food locker for my son, the price for those two shoes was $126.34. Unfortunately, I don't have the receipts from the shoes from the shoe department, but what I will end up doing is, once I find that receipt, I'll go ahead and just put on the screen um, how much the total amount would be. I did give you all the prices, so you can always do the math, and there you go. <laughs> yeah, I am officially done with back to school. Um, the children, my children, they actually start school next week, so I'm happy about that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also, consider subscribing. Like I said, if you did miss part one and you want to see what type of clothes I got for my children for this school year, um, I will go ahead and link that video either up here or up here so that y'all can go ahead and tune into that video um, so you can see what I got my children clothes for back to school. Also, I ended up getting them some underclothes and things like that, but I did not feel like it was necessary to include that into the video. 
Um, if you are new to my channel, other type of content I like to post on my channel besides shopping hauls is also grocery hauls. Also do family videos, um, family vlogs, dinner in life, work from home videos, cleaning and laundry motivational video. So my channel is a motherhood type of channel. It's about my life and how I get things done being a mother of four. Um, and I think I am done. I'm going to stop talking. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.